The twin paradox is a thought experiment of the twins, one of whom is an astronaut and the other stays at home. The astronaut brother undertakes a long space journey in a rocket moving at almost the speed of light, while the other remains on Earth. When the traveling brother finally returns to Earth, it is discovered that he is younger than his sibling. To understand the twin paradox, we have to first understand time. Because of this, I have come up with my own theory called quantum atom theory. In quantum atom theory, the wave-particle duality creates time itself. Time is being created continuously by electron-photon couplings. When a particle wave function of light makes contact with an electron on the surface of an atom, there is a photon-electron coupling and a quantum leap of energy. At that moment, the particle wave function collapses into a new photon particle of light, creating a new moment in time. Two-dimensional space on the surface of that atom expands into three-dimensional space-time as a new expanding particle wave function of light. When this particle wave function comes in contact with the electrons of another object, the process will repeat itself again, creating a new particle wave function of future possibilities. This is a continuous process within our universe called stimulated emissions. In quantum atom theory, this process also creates the time continuum. In this theory, there is no absolute or universal time because atoms create their own time relative to their position and momentum. For an accelerating object like a rocket, time will run slower relative to an object or observer in its own space-time. This happens because an object accelerating towards the speed of light will increase in energy or mass, and the greater the mass or energy, the larger or more rapid the particle wave function collapse. This will increase the number of photon-electron couplings, increasing the delay factor, and time will slow down. There is a delay factor when there is a photon-electron coupling. This is why light travels slower through water and time runs slower through a gravitational field. I believe there is a law of the conservation of time, just as there is a law of the conservation of energy. Because of this law, time slows for one at the same rate that it speeds up for the other. Time will speed up for the twin left at home because he is in the same space-time or reference frame created by the momentum of the rocket. The momentum of the rocket will increase the stimulated emissions by collapsing the particle wave function of the electromagnetic radiation or light. The greater the momentum of an object, the larger or more rapid its particle wave function collapse, the faster time will run in that object's own space-time. Because the twin left behind is in that space-time, he will therefore age faster. For the astronaut twin, sat in the cockpit of the rocket, there is no change of momentum, because he has a reference frame, or space-time, attached to the object's centre of mass. Because this mass is increasing as, the, as he accelerates towards the speed of light, his time is slowing down. This theory might be wrong. I have found little evidence of a law of the conservation of time. But light has momentum, and momentum is governed by the law of the conservation of energy. And for this to work, there must also be a law of the conservation of time.